Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. I'm starting this Santa Marie grill for a trailer build I'm doing. And this is a bunch of pieces that I got cut out for it already. The sides and the bottom and everything. This is the trailer that it's going on. It has a reverse flow smoker on it. And the grills will sit right back here on the back side of the horizontal chamber. Right here, I'm just getting some tubing cut out to make a frame on the bottom of the grill. This Evolution saw, I still haven't changed the blade in this thing. <laughs> it's still cutting, it's been a while too. I've got a new blade sitting right there beside it, so whenever it does go dull, I'll be ready. It's just a frame on the bottom, kind of stiffen it up some. getting it all tacked in. I've got some more Santa Marie's coming up that I've already started cutting on that uh, different style. I'll be doing a video on those too. It's just getting the sides put on there. Working on this trailer, but it just makes me want to get in that shop even more. So I'm not having to worry about the weather. It's too big to go inside my little shop now. It'll go in there, but I won't have room to do anything to it. This just getting out, some of it welded out on there. So we can start messing with the frame up on the top. And the top structure for the rod to go through and the chains to hang on. I didn't get any video, but I already have holes drilled through the side, the uprights. It's just a brace that I put on to help hold it till it's tacked up there, just to hold it square. I usually wait to weld out all the corners and everything until I have it all set up and make sure everything is right. Then I'll come back and weld out everything. It's a lot easier to cut a couple tacks out than it is to cut that whole thing loose. These are just slides for the charcoal tray. A lot of people don't even put charcoal racks in there, wood racks. I still do them, I don't know, I like them in there. But you can put the fire right on the bottom if you wanted to.
stuff cut out for the racks. You can see I had to push down a little more to get it to cut. That blade's not gonna last much longer. This is just a food grate. It's pretty much the exact same as the uh, bottom frame. It's just a little smaller. These little pieces, this is the door. I didn't get any video of drilling those out. I was back and forth. When I'm having to do them with a hole saw, I'll drill one or two and then let it cool off and then come back, kind of keep them dull in the bit. But these little pieces that I'm putting on here are just to thicken it up. That's where the handles are gonna go. And what I did was drill some holes through the door so I could plug weld it from the back. Just cause it looked a little cleaner. And then we'll have to drill through again to do the door latches. I was actually intending to do a different latch on these and it ended up, it was gonna be just as much work and it even cost a little bit more to do them like that. So I went back to these. It's just bending them over, getting a washer put on to where the spring handle will stop. This is the latch mechanism and the handle that I'm putting on now on that rod. And everything looked good, so now I'm welding out the frame and everything. Building out the hinges on the door. This grill won't have any legs or anything. It just mounts to the back of that trailer. Or to the back of the smoker on the trailer. And that's pretty much it on the grill now. I'll come back and show it on the trailer after I get it all put on there and finished up. But it's pretty much done now at this point, except for painting stuff and getting it put on. So if you're new to the channel, y'all please like and subscribe and come back for the next one. I got more Santa Marie's coming up. And uh, hit that notification button, it'll tell you whenever they're coming out. You can see that rack goes right down on the top of it. But I'm fixing to get it mounted on and I'm gonna come back and do a video of the trailer and show you how it looks then. We'll see you on the next one.